What do YouTube? It's your boy MJ the Can. We back with another video. Okay, today's video, we we trying to figure out why rappers are scared of Lil Dirk. You know what I'm saying? Dirky, yo, we trying to figure out why rappers are scared of him. So make sure you like, him, subscribe. We not gonna do too much talking, and we just gonna get to the video game. Lil Durk has made sure to keep rappers in the industry scared of him. Rappers got more scared of Lil Durk in 2022 when some truths about him were revealed. Lil Durk gang history. In the rap industry today, almost every rapper is a part of a gang, and Lil Durk is not any different. However, what makes Lil Durk's gang affiliation scarier is that he belongs to one of the scariest gangs in Chicago. Lil Durk is a member of the Black Disciples Gang. The gang was founded over 50 years ago by David Barksdale. Many fans believe that Durk joined the gang after he dropped out of school at the age of 17. Lil Durk, alongside his late best friend, King Von, were both members of the gang, with King Von often referred to as grandson, indicating his relationship with David Barksdale. And Bond said King David like his granddaddy, you see. And when people honor people like that, that's how they feel. You see what I'm saying? And he felt that was his granddad, just like I felt you think he was my father. Rappers also fear Lil Durk because there have been speculations of Durk being involved in the deadly war between Black Disciples and Gangsta Disciples in Chicago. Many fans believe that the war between the two gangs began in 2011 when a member of the STL slash EBT Gangsta Disciples, Shondell Gregory, who was popularly known as Tuka, was at a bus stop by a masked Tuka was only 15 years old when the tragedy happened, was loved by many STL slash GBT gang members. The 63rd Street of the Martin Luther King Drive, which is called Tukaville by the STL slash GBT, is named after Tuka. Dirk is dissed Tuka with his lyrics on various songs by mostly using the line, smoking that Tuka pack, by him and his fellow Black Disciples members. Lil Dirk's involvement in the gang war has seen him diss dead rappers in the past. Lil Dirk released the song, L Anthem, on which which he dissed Lil Jojo, a member of 63rd's Gangsta Disciples. In the song, Dirk rapped, Brick Squad, I say, Goom, Booker World with him, so Goom. Jojo responded with the song, BDK. In the song, he called out a large majority of Black Disciple members, most especially Lil Dirk, Chief Keef, and Lil Reese. Jojo was on September 5th, 2012, shortly after he dissed Lil Dirk and the Black Disciples. Many fans believe that Dirk might have played a role in the death by ordering his. Lil Dirk is also known to honor the death of people that are dear to him. While many fans believe that he became sensitive over the death of King Von and his brother D-Thang, rappers who are scared of Dirk know that he's been defensive over the death of people he loves before he became this feared in the rap industry. Many recall the tragic passing of Mubu Crump. Mubu Crump was a member of the Gangsta Disciples, and he mocked the death of Lil Dirk's cousin, OTF Nooski. Mubu Crump also attacked Lil Dirk's DJ, DJ Bands. Crump then went on to brag about the incident on Twitter. Crump was later in the drive by, and many believe that Dirk might have been involved in his passing. This is also because Dirk rapped about it on Pooh Shiesty's Back in Blood. Dirk rapped, you can't come back to your hood, huh? He was dissing on my cousin, now he's in that wood. The tragic passing of FBG Duck also served as a warning to rappers in the industry to keep off from getting in trouble with Lil Dirk. Chicago rapper FBG Duck was a part of the Black and Gangsta Disciples War. FBG Duck had released the song Dead in July 2020. On the song, FBG Duck dissed the number of unalive Black Disciple members. Less than a month after the song was released, FBG was by four people near a luxury and boutique shopping district. Fans believe that Dirk might have played a role in his tragic passing as he also rapped it in the song Should Have Ducked. Dirk rapped, I told my PO through the gate that I get high as She asked me how high do I get high as duck. Many fans believe that Lil Dirk was clearly dissing FBG Duck on the song. Hiring lookalikes. Lil Durk gave rappers another reason to be scared of him when he hired a lookalike to carry out his shady business. On Thursday, April 7th, a young man named Perkyo collaborated with YouTuber King Sid to prank people at Florida's Broward County Mall. The said young man, Perkyo, shared a striking resemblance with rapper Lil Durk. While dressed up in expensive clothing, faux tattoos, and accompanied by bodyguards, Perkyo was able to prank fans of the real Lil Durk. Lil Durk got a hold of Perkyo's little stunt, and he decided 
decided to bring his lookalike on board. Lil Durk acknowledged Perkyo and posted a video of him on his Instagram with the caption, OMG, what happened to Smirk? Durk hilariously wrote while sharing one of his TikToks. <laughs> After Lil Durk recognized his lookalike on social media, he moved their relationship further by inviting him to meet him in person. Not only did he meet him in person, but he also put him on the video of one of his songs, Blacklist. A post shared to Durk's Instagram showed Schmirkio, aka Perkio, getting a drink busted over his head in slow motion by a disgruntled woman. Perkio shooting Blacklist with the real Jerry. Durk wrote with multiple laughing emojis in the caption. This might be the biggest ish, 2022. Shortly after he appeared in Lil Durk's music video, Lil Durk called called him up on stage during his tour in Miami. While Dirk was performing on stage, he called out to his twin, Perkyo, to take the stage with him. The duo was seen jumping and vibing to the music before Lil Dirk asked his fans to make some noise for his lookalike. Lil Dirk embraced Perkyo quite fast and easily as he showed massive love to Perkyo, which made fans assume that they had a relationship beyond what they portrayed on social media. When Lil Dirk started posting about Perkyo and even featuring him in his music video, many fans were eager to know the reason why he in fact hired Perkyo to be around him and pose around as himself. Lil Durk's relationship with Perkyo has since been linked to his gangster lifestyle. The rapper may be feared, but he's known to get into one trouble or the other, especially with other gangster rappers in the industry. Lil Durk and his OTF members are never really safe, as they're always involved in one rap beef to another to street beef with gang members. Many believe that Lil Durk hired a lookalike to keep him from getting into any troubles with gang members. Some fans believe that since Perkyo may easily be mistaken for Lil Durk. His ops could mistake Perkyo and take him out instead of Lil Durk. It isn't surprising that people would come up with these theories as a similar incident happened on January 28th, 2022, when rapper NBA Youngboy's lookalike was found lying lifeless in the woods in Alabama. Lil Durk, home invasion. Many rappers in the industry today have come face to face with robbers and home invaders, but only a few have made it out alive for Lil Durk. Not only did he make it out of a home invasion alive, but he also put fear on the streets and in the rap industry when he had it with the people who tried to rob his home in July 2021. On July 11th, 2021, rap blogger DJ Academics reported that Lil Durk's home was invaded, but not many people believed Academics. Lil Durk's house of residence in Atlanta had heavy police presence and was possibly raided due to an investigation about a and other crimes. However, shortly after DJ Academics posted about it, several news outlets picked up the story to get details about the events of the Lil Durk and his fiance India Royale were both in their Atlanta residence on Sunday, July 11th at about 5 a.m. when they heard on their premises. According to reports, Lil Durk and India exchanged with the suspects. No injuries were reported and no arrests were made. The cops were also unable to determine how many people illegally entered Dirk's home. Lil Durk and India never publicly commented about the home invasion either. On July 20th, 2021, Lil Durk shared a cryptic message with his Instagram. He shared the dangers of letting people know what you do and how you move. Although he didn't directly mention the home invasion, many people believe that he was referring to the situation. Although they never publicly spoke about the Lil Durk rapped about it in his song, Piss Me Off. He said, get back to your mans. You in court like he ain't dead. Got these ski masks for the the only time you wear it. Ran inside my crib, but the Glock 10 was by the bed. How Lil Durk handled his home invasion served as a warning to intruders who may have wanted to take a hit on him, as his brother D-Thang lost his life a month prior to the incident. Rappers who reacted to the incident all agreed that Lil Durk wasn't to be messed with. Lil Durk. Scared of rappers. Rapper Lil Durk may be one of the most feared rappers in the industry today, but there probably are some rappers Durk fears. His gang history, song lyrics, and way of life have portrayed him in a way that he has to look over his shoulders wherever he goes. A certain video of Lil Durk looks scared and uncomfortable made media rounds in 2021. In the viral video, the OTF rapper was working on a video set alongside rapper Lil Baby in his drop top convertible. While Lil Baby was just getting into the car, Lil Durk was already seated in the car, fumbling with 
something in his hands, looking nervous. At the time the video went viral, Lil Durk claimed it was just an up close video and he wasn't nervous, but he wanted to keep himself safe. It was no surprise that Lil Durk was scared to be out in the open at that time. It was barely three months after his friend King Von passed away from wounds he sustained during a fight outside in Atlanta nightclub. So, he was certain that he and his OTF crew weren't safe out there in these streets, least of all in a convertible with his head prone to get a year later, in 2022, Lil Durk's name began sending shivers down people's spines as the OTF leader got colder and scarier. But some fans didn't buy his newfound terror, and they referred him back to the viral video of 2021. On May 2nd, 2022, a fan went viral on social media after pointing out that the OTF leader always looked scared whenever he was outside. Lil Durk was on an Instagram Live with his girlfriend, India Cox, when a fan commented how he's always looking scared. Reading the comment out loud, the voice rapper replied, Applied, that's when I become a real firm believer of looks can be deceiving. Lil Durk turned to India, and he asked her if he often looked nervous or lost, but she seemed at a loss for words. He then appeared to bring up the 2021 home invasion in which both he and India were forced to defend themselves. But you know like I know, he said, you know what happened in that house. The comment prompted India to give him a confused look, but it wasn't pretty clear that's what he was talking about. At the time the video started making media rounds, fans made speculations about the situation and came up with two theories. Some fans said that Lil Durk saw Lil Baby as a threat despite their collaboration, and it was likely that Lil Durk had hired guys to attack Lil Baby while they were on set, so he was nervous about the outcome. Other fans argued that Lil Durk was a famous rapper who had ops everywhere and in every city. The video was shot in Atlanta, and Atlanta isn't Lil Durk City. Fans argued that Lil Durk appeared nervous in the video because he was scared that someone could make an attack on him, and he was out in the open in a city that wasn't his. What's so with you two? He was scared. I was just saying he was cautious, you know what I'm saying? And plus that that, that camera came like you think about it. he was telling that camera came out. No, he just look like he could have been on like a pa pa honey <laughs> come make it be dead. You know hey, I don't think he tried to do nothing to little baby. Nah, him and little baby too tight for that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's it for the video, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? We just, we hit about to hit 800 subs, so make sure we run it up, run it up, run it up. That's all for the video, YouTube video, MJ the Kid out, gang. Okay.